11 of Russia's cities will host the 2018 tournament. Here to tell us about her hometown is the world's preeminent pole vaulter. Hi, I'm Yelena Isinbayeva, two-time Olympic champion. I have set 28 world records. I'm a seven-time world champion, a two-time European champion, and the first woman in the world and in the history of field athletics to vault five meters. As a tourist and guest of our city during the World Cup, you have to go and visit Mamai Hill. Another must-see is the Battle of Stalingrad Museum. You should also go to the embankment on the east side of the Volga River. On the west bank, there's a lovely beach and a wonderful forest where tourists can escape from the hustle and bustle of our city during the World Cup. We also have the old Sarepta Museum, another option for escaping the city centre. All in all, there are plenty of interesting places to visit. And so to Sarepta, a settlement on the Volga River, where German colonialists were allowed to set up home in the mid-18th century. Today, it is indeed one of Volgograd's leading tourist attractions. This is the old Sarepta Museum. It is the place where the one and only Russian settlement of her Hunter brothers was founded 250 years ago. The whole museum complex is made up of 26 buildings, many of which date back to the end of the 18th century. Now considered a place of historic importance, the museum allows you to learn about the settlement's unique history and what life was like for those first settlers. This is the old church and it was built in 1772. It was fully restored in 1995 and 10 years ago, people from the German city of Cottbus sent the church a wonderful gift, an organ, which is now one of the main attractions. The church is an active one, with weekly religious services organized by the Evangelical Lutheran community of Sarepta. The services are held both in Russian and German and are accompanied by the sounds of the organ. The museum also houses the German library, which offers its visitors a selection of non-adapted books in the German and English languages. Visitors are free to peruse them. A jewel of the library's collection is a 19th century copy of a multi-volume Gothic script encyclopedia. Sarepta was a very well-developed settlement. They had several small industries, a candle-making factory, a tannery, a wine distillery, a pottery shop. But the main and the most important industry based here was devoted to the production of mustard oil and mustard powder. It is in Sarepta that the first ever mustard oil was produced in our country. By the middle of the 19th century, this settlement was the mustard capital of the whole Russian Empire. There are a number of old wine cellars which were built at the end of the 18th century. Sarepta settlers used to harvest several varieties of grapes, most of which were used in wine production. Some secrets of Sarepta wine have stood the test of time. Cellars like this can be found under every Sarepta building, and there is a legend that all these cellars used to be connected through underground passages. In addition, such places have given birth to numerous other myths. One of them is that this cellar is haunted by benevolent ghosts. And so, upstairs, visitors will find a mug of beer and a loaf of bread left for the ghost of a kind-hearted Johannes. Johannes. 